Hi, I'm Lisa Bloom and this is the Dare to Tell Story Show. The other day I was sitting at home in the evening and I got a phone call. It was my dentist. He called to tell me about a new special he has on fillings and a particular deal with crowns and he wanted to know if I was interested in hearing the details and maybe joining the program. And um, of course I'm kidding. I didn't get a call like that. In fact, I can't even imagine getting a call like that. I go see my dentist on a regular basis for checkups or if I have some kind of intense pain that I need looking at. But it started me thinking, what do your clients come to you for? Do they come on a regular basis? And what service do you offer that actually fills a desperate need? I was wondering, you know, I couldn't think of even one person that I've ever heard of that wakes up in the middle of the night in intense pain because they can't find the right story. But then I thought, that's not what it's about. You see, as a storyteller, I don't need to tell lies and I don't need to trick people with fear-mongering and, and coming up with some kind of drama to get them to, to feel like they need some, you know, my services. As a storyteller, I need to connect the dots. And this is what storytelling has been doing since the beginning of time. It's been explaining the world to us. And more importantly, stories help us understand our place in the world. So as a storyteller, what I need to do is I need to create the right stories that will attract people to my business, to my services, so that they can see that it really fulfills their genuine need. So what do people wake up with in the middle of the night, in, in pain? Aside from physical, physical pain, they wake up because they're worried or because they're fearful, and usually it's about money or health or relationships. So let's talk about money for a minute. You wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat because, I don't know, you're telling yourself this story of lack, the story of defeat, the story of whatever isn't, the story of not enough. And I want to suggest to you that there's such more powerful stories to tell that will stop you waking up at night and stop you living in this, in this place of fear and the place of worry. So how do we go about telling these stories? Well, I want to give you three really powerful tips. The first is to stop telling the story of what isn't. To stop telling the story of the thing that you haven't got enough of, but to start telling the story of what is and what could be. We all know that we attract, by, we attract what's, a, what's like, so if you're telling what's not, you're going to get more of what's not. The second step is to tell the story specifically. So don't just go on about, oh my God, I don't have enough clients, or I'm not making enough profit even though my revenue is raising, or whatever it may be. Don't tell that story, but get specific into, this is where I'm at, and these are specifically the numbers I need to reach. These are the amount of clients I need to provide a service to, and to really create that vision in specific and really inspiring story. And the third stage, the third tip, is to tell that story. Tell it again and again. Tell it to yourself and tell it to others because that's how story becomes reality, by telling it again and again. So I invite you to start telling that story by sharing. Share in the comments below. Let us hear what your story is that's going to get you sleeping better and create what you want in your life and in your business. So thanks for being here today and I'll see you next time in the Dare to Tell Story Show.